This is the 10th section of Psalm 119 about how to live life. Verse 73, your hands made me and formed me. Give me understanding to learn your commands. Basically, read the maker's instructions. God made us. His word helps me understand how to live life. In fact, the Bible is the only book that truthfully tells us where we came from, why we are here, what to do to live a successful life and where we are going. God made us and he knows us better than we know ourselves. And amazingly, he shares that knowledge with us uh, through his word. How stunning is that? And as we read the Bible, uh, James describes uh, the Bible as, as a mirror. Uh, it's, in fact, as we look at it, we see ourselves. Uh, we see ourselves in the in the people of the Bible. We see ourselves in the situations of the Bible. And uh, uh, as one commentator put it, past history uh, becomes our present reality. And so we see ourselves. We see the good. Uh, we see the bad. And uh, we see the ugly. Yeah, that was weird. And uh, we have the opportunity to then do something about it. And verse 74, we can become a blessing to us. May those who fear you rejoice when they see me, for I've put my hope in your word. Everybody needs encouragement and uh, our hope is in God's word. And that results in joy in our life so that we can encourage others because every single person is fighting some battle in their life. So do people rejoice when they see you? Do we help people with their burdens or do actually do we add to them? And uh, the rest of this section uh, refers to people being afflicted and wronged. And yet from verse 76 onwards, we see that God continues to give his unfailing love, his comfort, his promises to encourage us and his compassion. When all else seems to be failing in life, read the maker's instructions. Amen.